guys, Brayden here, and welcome back to City Skylines, and we're in Alexandria again. The last part, or this part, has been pretty delayed. I've had some work that I needed to do. I'm on holidays now, which is good, so I can uh, do some streams and make a lot more videos and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but I had some assessments and things due, namely a, uh, a three to five minute short film that I had to shoot. So, if you think the whole six hours of work for a one hour video is bad, try 14 hours of work for a three and a half minute video. There's, uh, there's worse things than making videos on YouTube. A lot more time goes into other stuff, but um, I know it's good to be back in City Skylines. It's been a little while, like I said, um, and I've spent a fair amount of time shooting this one, actually. We are doing some work in the industry area. Not at the moment. I'm doing some more stuff over in the city, namely putting a bridge going across our little lake there, or little inlet bay, what have you, and um, doing some work around that. It's not done. I'll come back after I go over to the industry area, so I'll work on this for a little while, go over do some industry stuff, then I'll come back and finish it. And then plus I've done a bunch of other stuff, so you might see some stuff that's changed quite a lot between the time lapse and um, the live stuff, so I'll, I'll walk you through that when we actually um, do the live recorded stuff anyway. But uh, what I wanted to do for at least the first part of this episode is uh, read some comments from the last couple of videos. I want to do this every couple of... Um, videos go through and read some of the questions and stuff that you guys have been putting through. I mean, I can answer them and I try to answer as many of them as I can um, in the actual comment section, but if anybody else is wondering, um, I will try and answer them all for you now. So, if my internet would not be a piece of crap, there we go. All right, let's see. Okay, the, the main thing for the first one was, is this series going to continue? Yes, it is. I'm sure a few of you are panicking given that I've been away for two weeks and not put up a video, but don't worry, it's it's fine. I was just busy. I'm not stopping City Skylines. Alexandria is here to stay. I'm really, really, really happy with the city how it is at the moment, so it's not going anywhere. Don't fret. Um, what is the name of the map and the graphics things? I actually got names about uh, questions about the map a couple of times. It's Schweiz Valley. I think I mentioned it before, I'm not sure, but it's Schweiz Valley, and I'm using the 70s Vintage LUT which is nice. I, I think a couple of people were saying maybe you should use a bit of a, a less intense LUT, but I don't know. I, I like it. I like how it is. I like that sort of stylized look. I don't like the really generic thing. I mean, everybody uses, or well, most people use fairly sort of, not generic, but not really stylized um, LUTs, and I kind of want to do something a little bit different. I, I like sort of really offbeat stylized looks, and I think the 70s vintage one looks that. No, it's not the most realistic thing in the world, but I kind of like it, and I think it suits the... Um, the city. So, uh, yeah, it's the 70s Vintage LUT and Schweiz Valley. And the map theme, I think someone else asked, is the stock theme that comes with Schweiz Valley. So when you subscribe to Schweiz Valley, it will give you a little pop-up that says you need to subscribe to this map theme in order to use it properly. So just subscribe to that and then you'll uh, have the map and the theme and the LUTs and everything as I do. Um, those bridge pieces are actually kind of cool. There's a few more. I'm not sure how some of the other ones work because there's, like, there's the big spire things like these ones have the big red parts. But there's also ones that have that, but not the actual cables coming down. So I'm not sure how that works. I don't know if I haven't subscribed to certain things that I needed to, but whatever. That's fine. I mean, I, I like that bridge. I like that bridge a lot. And I think this little area that's in around the bay is going to look quite nice. Originally, I was going to go for partly sort of condos by the bay and then partly sort of like a, a flea market and then a couple of piers and ports and then maybe some sort of modern clean looking industrial buildings like warehouses and stuff but i think i'm just going to go straight for the condos by the um by the bay because i think that's going to suit it a lot better in here i don't know we may have a couple of warehouses or whatever because i'm going to have some ferry ports oh i also have mass transit now so is it mass transit mass public mass mass Tran yeah it's called mass transit or something i got a code from um colossal order and i've got to say uh well paradox i think uh, a, a, bit, a bit disappointed i'm honest like i i don't know what they're doing with the expansions and stuff so far but they're being very irresponsible with it i know there's a lot of work that goes into it and there's mods and stuff to fill in where the expansions and the game itself doesn't cut it but you're spending a lot of money on these expansions and they're not giving you enough content i mean that's just my two cents but i feel like we're just not getting anywhere near enough content in the expansions to warrant the price that they're charging for it but that's just me i don't know i mean mass transit adds, adds some cool stuff i mean I'll, I'll use the monorails at some point i won't use the airships because i hate airships and i'll definitely use the ferry i think the ferries will actually be quite cool going across this lake we'll get a bit of water traffic and stuff i think that'll be kind of nice uh so yeah anyway let's go back to some of the questions uh let's see what we have here oh yes people were asking about the collection the collection is now good i don't know if i've mentioned this before on the last part or not but the collection is in the description so if you want to get all the assets and stuff 
Uh, it's called the Alexandria Collection. There's a link in the description, so if you want it, you can go and get it, and just you'll have all the stuff that I have in the game. Uh, at the moment, I'm still shuffling some stuff around, so if you want to come back in a week, unsubscribe from everything, then resubscribe to everything. I'm going to cut some stuff that's been giving me hell, um, and then add some more stuff that I think will be kind of interesting. So there's, it's, I'm still working on it. I mean, I think collections have a, a limit of a thousand assets or something, don't they? Like a thousand items. I'm not sure. Maybe that was just because Steam was bugging out. That's another reason why um, this episode's a bit delayed. It's I was I was working on this or was trying to work on this, but uh, Steam was being a piece of shit after I downloaded or bought a bunch of stuff in the Steam sale, and then for some reason every time I tried to open Steam it would crash. So I had to uninstall it, reinstall it, and that meant uninstalling and reinstalling all my assets and stuff for City Skylines as well. So that was fun. Everything's been a bit against me a little bit, but you know that's the City Skylines life, I suppose. But yeah, anyway, back to the question. The collection is in the description. It's called the Alexandria Collection. It's pretty good. Like I said, still working on it, but um, there's some good stuff in there. I may have to start like a, a part two collection for the extra stuff if there is in fact a limit of a thousand assets or mods or whatever, which I think there might be. I don't know. No idea. We'll see. Right. What else do we have? Let's go to episode two, shall we? I really should have had these all laid out before, but that would involve planning things and... Uh, <laughs> That's what I like to do. Right, uh, let's see. It looks like you have over-detailed the tunnel entrances. I agree. The tunnel entrances are a bit much. I just need to sort of... I don't know. We may not keep those tunnel entrances. I'm, I like the actual asset themselves, but I'm not sure if they fit with the city, so... Some things may change around that. I'll definitely sort of tone it down because there's a lot of stuff going on. It's very, very busy around those tunnel entrances. So I think it might look a bit better once they're sort of filled in rather than just sort of freestanding out there with nothing around them. But we'll see. I don't know. There's, I mean, that's the great thing about City Skylines. If you guys don't like stuff on mass, then I can just go through and change it. Um, so if there's stuff that's crap, tell me and I'll uh, see if I can fix it. Won't always agree, but I will most of the time, I think. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. Some stuff about Traffic Manager probably won't work with Network expen Extensions V2. I got... I got traffic manager working but then prop line tool wasn't working that's one of the big issues i had when i unsubscribed and resubscribed to all the assets was that it took me about two days to figure out how the hell to get prop line tool working again um i think i was subscribed to some old redundant assets that hadn't been updated in like 18 months so i don't know if it was a confliction with the traffic manager or some other mod but it was definitely the older mods if anything uh, but yeah, I don't know. I wish the mods would be compatible because I really want to use Traffic Manager, but I also don't want to stop using network extensions because there's some really good roads there. Um, I don't know how many of the roads are in network extensions um, that have been added in Mass Transit because Mass Transit added a few roads, didn't they? I think they did. I'm not, I, I don't really know what they've added. I, do, I just know they had some transports. So, oh, they got like the ski lifts and stuff as well, don't they? I think so. Uh, I don't know. There we go. Uh, anyway, right. Let's. I think that's pretty much all the big questions. Yeah, that's the most common ones. There we go. Anyway, I suppose I should uh, talk about what we're doing in the actual video. I mean, like I always do, I'll run through what we've done, so I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, I also still need to go through and fix that sort of back area park in one of the big apartment buildings over in the first part that we built because that's still ugly as sin. I just haven't been bothered to do that. City Skylines is difficult. I mean, I get really motivated to do stuff and then I just want to jump in and start. But the thing with City Skylines is it still takes like 15 minutes to get into it. Um, since I got the loading screen mod, thank you for pointing that out, by the way. Um, it's been a lot better, but it's still quite slow. I mean, from clicking play game in the Steam menu, in the Steam library, to actually getting in and being able to build, it's probably 15 to 20 minutes. It takes about 15 minutes to boot including getting to the loading screen, but then you've got to sort of wait for the game to load in and not lag to shit for about five minutes. So, I don't know. Look at, oh, look at me, white pri privilege. I live in a first world country and my game takes too long to load on my computer. <laughs> oh, terrible, terrible life, isn't it? Jesus. Anyway, I'll stop whinging. I haven't had a good whinge in a while, but I won't stop doing that now. Uh, so what have we done in the industry area? We're doing a little bit of work on the industry area now. I mean, I started building the industry area not because I wanted industry in a big area like that but purely I, I needed a place to put services because we had nowhere 
to put garbage and sewage and we didn't have a lot of power and we just needed all those things grouped into one place and that's essentially what this area is going to be uh we've got big old train depots and stuff because i love the train depot over in the small little warehouse district or the cargo area um just by the main part of the city or well i guess that won't be the main part of the city I think the main part in terms of like really big, big high rise stuff is going to be where the bridge ends. That big bridge that we put across the bay. I think it's going to be across the other side of the bay um, where we've got all that sort of highway stuff that goes underground and everything. I think that's going to be where we have our high rise sort of CBD area. We want to have some casinos and all that sort of stuff. But um, anyway, off topic. Uh, trains and stuff. I like trains. Trains are good. I like them a lot. Um, so we'll have a big old cargo area in here. I haven't really thought through the cargo area very well, actually. Um, I think what I need to do is... Because I have two little sort of rail yards, as it were, that are connected, but not really. And they kind of need to be connected because I don't want cargo trains going into the city cargo port. I want them to go into the industry area one. And then I want the industry area one to transfer it to another industry area one, which then transfers it. To the city so we don't have a bunch of trains and stuff clogging up everything in the city and that way we don't have too many trucks and stuff going across as well so i, mean, I don't mind if there's a bunch of traffic in the industry area there's always going to be traffic in the industry area that's the reality of it you can't really change that you can minimize it and you can manage it but there's always going to be a lot of traffic especially once we get to a lot of citizens anyway so there you go uh we also got a big old car uh, not cargo power area so we've got nuclear power plants we have some custom assets which i think are natural gas so it's it's a i mean natural gas isn't like green but it's not as bad as coal is it i don't know what the co2 emissions are between the two but it's natural it must be good right no but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I've tried to make it sort of organic feeling. I mean, I've gone for a lot of trees and sort of green area throughout it because I don't want it to be a really hard concrete industrial. I mean, it's got, it's always going to feel like an industrial area because it is an industrial area and there's smokestacks and warehouses and trucks and belching out crap from aforementioned smokestacks and all that sort of stuff. So you can't really change it, but you can make it a little bit more organic, especially these days. I feel that's... Like, that's what a lot of um, councils and stuff are doing. They're trying to make everything look really nice. Everything new they build, they'll always try to put green space and trees and use sort of softer, warmer colours and all that sort of stuff rather than just going really hard, disgusting concrete. At least when they have the money to anyway. So that's kind of what I'm trying to go for with Alexandria. I guess the idea is Alexandria isn't an old city. Like, there's not really going to be any old areas in Alexandria. Because it's very much, I guess, like a Dubai. It's Maybe it's come into some sort of wealth and it's just sprung up out of the valley. Out of Schwaz Valley. And that's the story of Alexandria. There you go. You've got your law there. There's a universe around it. We could start a book about Alexandria. No one would buy it, but I could still write it. I like writing. It's fun. Uh, so yeah, we got lots of uh, train areas. I've got a little transport hub as well by the passenger train station. So... I think... What do we have? We've got metro, we've got buses, and we've got trains. I don't think I'm going to use the monorails in... Oh, actually, the monorails could be alright in the industry area. No, I think most of the industry area is going to be used using sort of reco building, so the big warehouses and all that sort of stuff, not particularly high-rise. And I think if we have monorails sticking out above it, then it's going to look a bit silly. So we might save the monorails for the downtown area. Um... We'll have a bit of a mix. Some areas will have... I think the sort of streetcars will look nice out in a more lower density suburban area. And then the monorails could look nice in the downtown area. And that's generally how it goes. Uh, I've also found these little cranes and stuff. I, for, I mean, I knew they were there, but I sort of forgot. And now I really want to use them in some sort of big construction area. I don't know. Maybe we can have it like there's a building that's half constructed. There's probably an asset somewhere of like a half constructed building and then we can put a bunch of stuff around it like it's a big construction site that could be cool i don't know there's also some ways where you can sort of deter traffic like you can build roads but then make them only use a certain way and then you can put a bunch of cones around it so it looks like they're sort of filtering through roadworks there's a couple of tutorials on that i might look at them that's another project that we can do i think we're going to focus on getting the city set first and sort of established and happy and running and then once we get all that stuff done we'll um start to actually make 
do big projects. I don't even know what I'm talking about, Mio. Uh, right, what was another issue I was having with cities? Um, oh, the theme manager. Does anyone know what the deal with theme manager is? Because I've been using it, but it's not, it's not working. It's probably some really trivial thing, and it's just because I'm an idiot with this sort of stuff. But I create custom themes, like a custom theme for, I call it Alexandria. I choose all the buildings I want, and then I even have Demand Master, and I make sure that the RCI is turned up to max, and nothing builds. I don't know what it is. It's very, very strange. It's, like, it's all set and everything, but nothing's actually building, even though the RCI is at 100% maxed out. I don't know what it is, and I can't just use the standard map theme because it's the European map theme, so the buildings are all European block houses, and I hate them so much. They are disgusting, and I will never ever use them in a city. I mean, uh, Europe's not disgusting, it's just that particular map theme's disgusting. Uh, also, using uh, the Move It tool to copy and paste planters, which is a cool thing that I only recently realized you could do so there you go that could save some time maybe i don't know i feel like you'd spend a lot of time just trying to actually highlight the correct stuff and not grab a bunch of extra crap i don't know there's i mean there's a lot of cool mods and things that are trying to streamline everything but um there's a little way to go yet i mean the more updates and everything that come out the better the mods get also you'll see that every time i move that particular uh bus hub or bus depot or whatever it was flattening the, ter the terrain behind it i know that happens with some buildings so you'll put a building down and it'll have it sort of highlighted footprint but it'll flatten terrain outside of that as if its footprint was larger than what it says and that happened when i was doing the actual power plant thing and i placed a building down and then looked over later and then there was a mountain that was half gone because the footprint had flattened it i don't know what building it was but it was not good so I don't, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. If you know what the deal is with that, let me know. I mean, like I say, I'm stupid with mods. So help me, please. I'm an idiot. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what else there really is to talk about. Uh, I've talked about mass transit. Uh, I've talked about where the hell have I been? Why am I being a piece of shit and not getting out videos often enough? Uh, I've talked about the city. Uh, what else can we do in the city? What are little projects that we could do? I definitely want a lumber mill because there's some really nice sort of lumber mill assets that I've downloaded. Rico. I think they're Rico. Yeah, I think they are. Oh. Yeah, no, they are. They're Rico. But yeah, we can get some nice lumber mills. It's, it's, a, it's a big sort of pine valley thing. So lumber would make sense cutting down trees and stuff. So... Uh, that'll be a little bit later though. Once the city's established, we'll start um, expanding out into the rest of the valley. We'll definitely have some smaller little towns and villages and stuff out amongst it. I think that'll be kind of cool. Uh, maybe some like highway diners and things. I, I want to get bit rid of the big freeway that we have that's sneaking around um, to the sort of, I guess, the right of the city. If you're looking the way the camera is now. But um, I, think, I think a sort of national road would be better suited. We'll definitely have like a big freeway bringing people into the city, but as for the rest of the stuff, I don't think we need a big old freeway. I'd like a sort of more sort of country road going out there. I think that would suit a lot better. Plus, we can put cool highway diners and stuff on that a lot easier rather than like a massive ass um, big motorway or whatever. Um, also, with those cable cars and stuff that we have now with mass transit, some sort of... I mean, we, don't, we can't do skiing because it's not snowy. But we could have like lookouts and maybe some mountain walks and stuff and they can get up there with the cable car. I think that'd be kind of cool. We could have like cafes and like a restaurant or something up there and then a bunch of walks and lookouts and everything up the top of the mountain. Because we've got some nice mountains. We could do that in a couple of locations. So we'll look into that. Uh, what else could we do? I don't know. Those are the main projects I've got in my head at the moment. Of course, we'll do an airport at some point. Um, also, the cargo... Uh, harbour or whatever you want to call it that's going to be coming I didn't get around to doing that this time purely because we didn't need to but that will come that'll be just sort of down below uh, where our power station is so I think that'll look quite nice once it's all joined together and then we've got the rest of the industry area up and running I also still need to figure out proper connections for the um, industrial area because I, I think i want to shift freeways around and stuff i don't know a lot of it's still sort of in the works and stuff will change so nothing's set in stone yet i tend to change stuff quite a lot i'm, I'm in not indecisive but i can't commit to it i have commitment issues there you go that's i think i've mentioned that before 
Anyway, uh, this is the big old power station. We also got some really cool substations out sort of next to the industrial uh, nuclear power plant. Sort of just in there. That looks really nice. I like them. They're quite cool. I mean, they do make their own power. I think they make about five megawatts of power themselves, but realistically, they're just there to convert the massive amounts of power from the nuclear power plant into actual usable electricity for the homes and everything. So... Yeah, we've got the other big natural gas things as well. Uh, we've got a bunch of water towers and stuff that I'll place around because, you know, nuclear power plant needs water, otherwise it blows the hell up. Um, realistically, the actual oil tank assets, but we don't have to know that. Uh, I also want to do some more pipe work and stuff. You'll see me trying to drag a pipe down towards uh, the water as if that was like a, a dump valve or like a flow-off pipe or whatever. I don't know, we'll see. There's a lot, like I said, a lot of stuff still in the work. A lot of stuff will change. Uh, there's some more projects that I want to do throughout the industrial area and the rest of the city. Uh, but anyway, I think I'm going to stop talking. I don't really have too much else to talk about. I was going to try and talk for a little bit longer, but I think I'd rather just let you watch uh, the time lapse and stuff. This episode's a little bit longer because it's been a while since I put one up. So I suppose that's fair. But uh, anyway, I will leave you to listen to some music. Hopefully the music is fine for everyone. I try to use some fairly inoffensive, chill EDM stuff just because it's kind of nice to listen to whilst watching the build um if you don't enjoy it then let me know and maybe i can try some other stuff but uh, either way i will stop rambling let you watch the time lapse hopefully you enjoy and i will see you back in alexandria
felt that way about music? I'm you just, you don't forget. You forget that there are places in the world that aren't made out of stone. There's, a, there's something inside.
Adverse conditions is what I would say. Episode three has been recorded under. It's, there's been a lot of challenges to record this episode. Uh, mods haven't been working properly. The game's been crashing because of it. It's just not been loading in places. There's been assets that have been deleting my props that I've been placing, and there's a million other things that seem to have gone wrong. But despite all that, our industry area has turned out pretty damn fine, I've got to say. I'm really pleased with it. It looks good. I like it. And I've finally pretty much cleaned up my mods. I've had a good week or so of just mods screwing me over every which way I go. So it's nice to have it under control at least a little bit. There's a couple that I need to reinstall that I uninstalled that weren't actually causing issues. But um, we're not actually building in this little bit. We're just running through what we've got. So let's do exactly that. First and foremost, this place isn't done, uh, nor is the area over in Alexandria by the bay. It's all, it's all, everything's a work in progress, everything's subject to change, so take everything with a grain of salt. It's not going to completely stay that way necessarily. A lot of stuff might, but things will change. Uh, so, we do have the industry area at least started, and a good amount started as well. Uh, I just wanted an industry area so we had a place to put our services, which is exactly what I've done. So, we have power over here. Uh, in the big Alexandria power plant. I don't know what I'm going to call this. It'll probably be the name of the episode, so you'll know that. I don't because I haven't thought of that yet. I have lightened up my roads a little bit since the um, time-lapse stuff. I also need to try and get um, Roads United core working. And I need the North American roads because I like the yellow lines that they come with, so... I don't know, that's another mod I'm having trouble with, but, uh, either way, this is still, still looks pretty damn fine. I want to darken these roads up a little bit. Or maybe not, I don't know. I like the colour of those roads because we can use the road decals, because the road decals, like the road wear and damage and all that, suit lighter roads a lot better than darker roads, so we'll see. Uh, we have our big nuclear power plant over here, uh, which is having its power converted into electricity by these big old substations. A lot of the props that I placed in here have been deleted. I was having a huge, massive problem with... I think it was the bus depot, like the one that came with After Dark. It's been modified in some way. It's got like a metro underneath it, which it never used to. But that was causing huge issues in that the footprint was massive, so it was just flattening this entire mountain and deleting all my props every time I placed it down. So that was fun, uh, but that's gone now, and most of the damage has been repaired. That mountain looks a bit different than it did before. That's fine. Oh, look at the train go. I've got some custom trains and stuff running as well. 
which is cool. Uh, we have our rail yards and everything over here. This is one. We have a cargo terminal. These guys still need to have some work done to them because at the moment there's still trains going through and dumping cargo to um, the cargo terminal over in the city there by the main area of Alexandria. Uh, what I want them to do is have freight trains coming into this place here, then these trucks go into this joint here, and then this joint here taking the cargo over there. I think that's the most efficient way to do it. Here's one of our customer trains. Yeah, I like them. They're cool. I think they're German. Nordben. Oh, maybe like Swedish or something. I don't know. I'm not cultured enough to know. Uh, so yeah, it's all looking pretty good. So we've got our cargo sorted out. Uh, we've got garbage over here. We've got all these big old tanks of stuff. These are actually oil tanks, but I'm sort of thinking that these are water tanks for our nuclear power plant that it uses to cool the reactor. Uh, got a bunch of different parking spaces in here, it's little truck depots, warehouses, that sort of stuff. Uh, this place at the front here turned out really nice. I like it. Don't know what I'm going to do along here. I feel like it looks a little bit bare. Uh, so you might sort something out with that. Love the back area here. It looks really good. Love it. Got all these decals. I want to use more decals. I'm a little bit annoyed that the terrain's a bit wonky there, but, you know, kind of everything. Uh, and yeah, it's all sort of nicely decorated. These are gas power plants. There's actually three of them. So there's a natural gas combined cycle there and there, and a little combustion turbine in the middle. So, so it looks good. I like it. We've got heaps of power. We've got about 1,818 megawatts of power, so we never have to worry about power again, basically. So that's really good. Overkill, of course, but it's better to have too much than too little, I think. Uh, unless you're talking about diseases. Uh, that's a train. Where are you going? You're going to... You've merged through each other. Interesting. Wonderful. Anyway, uh, what else have we done? We have sewage treatment here. These are actually both these built... Oh, that's the same building. Really? There's meant to be two different ones that I placed. Oh, yeah. That's the one I meant to play. Anyway, point is, these guys are sewage things. I don't know. They're not big tanks. I didn't like the big tanks. Whether you just have the crap sitting and spinning and being treated and everything. So, I guess these would have underground tanks or whatever to treat the sewage. I don't bloody know how it works, but either way. Uh, they're there. We've got plenty of drain capacity from them, and I think they fit in pretty well with the sort of warehouse style that I'm going for with a lot of this industrial area. Uh, so it looks pretty good. Of course, we have lots of green space throughout this area. This place still definitely needs a fence along here, I think. Note to self, do that. Uh, but yeah, we've got all our train yards and everything along here. All the train props. Uh, there is a tree sitting in there. Oh, yeah. That's apparently part of that building. Damn. Oh, well, doesn't really matter. Perhaps I can... Oh, I had prop it up installed. But I don't know if I... I uninstalled it, but I don't know if it'll break again when I reinstall. I think it needs an update or something because it was glitched out or bugged out or whatever. But anyway, yeah, lots of green space throughout the industrial area. We've got this big spire and everything and then another radio antenna of some description. I don't know what they're for, just for decoration, really. And uh, I wanted to try and keep it looking organic because, you know, while it is an industry area, you kind of want to keep it blending in with the rest of the valley and everything. So got lots of pine trees and... All that sort of stuff looks pretty good. Got a little transport depot over here. We have our passenger train station to bring people in. A bunch of bus stops and stuff along here. I like that area. It's quite nice. Uh, a couple of the things that I did got deleted again. I had some planters along the back here, which look nice, and they're gone. So that's another thing I need to fix. Uh, then we have a bus place over here. A little bus depot that serves no purpose. It's just decorative. That's just where the buses would park before they go over here and pick up passengers at the depot. We'll also have some guys over here. So these little bus stop things actually look as if they're functional. Uh, the game's frozen up. I assume it's saving. That would be the only thing. I don't know why the game freezes up so much when it saves. That's a bit irritating, but whatever. Then we have this little area down here. I just wanted a sort of different way for uh, people to get underneath the industry area. Again, sort of bringing some space in. I don't want to make it really green all the time. I still want it to look like an industrial area, but I just want these little pockets of sort of natural stuff to not make it look so harsh and concrete and full of metal and warehouses and stuff. So, got a little underpass here. It looks pretty cool. Trains going across. That's cool. Uh, and then we have the graffitied underpasses, which I think sort of fit pretty well with the industry area. Um, textures. Oh, wait, I have those uh, little rock textures, don't I? That could help in here. Let me see if I can grab them. If the find it mod wants to... Oh, wait, is that it? Yeah, no, there it is. Yeah, so I can sort of just throw that in. Ooh, two daisy. Yeah, so I've been using a lot of these um, rock decals because it just... I don't know, the textures with this map theme aren't great. 
and these things sort of are. So I like them a lot, sort of just softens it up, makes it look a bit more natural. I don't know. There we go. Chuck a couple of them in there. It's the textures of the sort of sloped land, when it's sloped extremely, aren't particularly... Yeah, that's a lot better. There we go. Cool. Alright, anyway, that's all the building will do. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I've done over here. We st we've still got a lot of work to do. Next episode, I'm going to work on a big old interchange, and I think I'm going to drag this sort of highway... Oh. Yeah, I think I'll sort of drag the highway in along here. And it'll come across this way, and then it can sort of duck back out. Maybe around here or something. I don't know, there's still some work that needs to be done. Need to modify the rail lines, of course, to suit our cargo and everything. Uh, and then I want to do some... I really want to get the bloody... Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. United Roads. United Roads Core, whatever the hell it's called. If anyone knows how to fix that or why it wouldn't be working, let me know if there's any mods it conflicts with. I've had a bit of a look, but... Um, can't seem to find much, but uh, yeah, still some tweaking to do. Uh, let's go over and look at the little bay area we've done around Alexandria. This is very not finished, like at least that's finished in places. This is basically finished nowhere, so just everything subject to change. I think I did a bit of work outside the time lapse as well, so this stuff looks different, that's why. Uh, also, all these networks and everything, like this stuff here and all this curvy, that's going to change completely, absolutely completely. It's going to be totally different, so... Uh, just keep that in mind. Right, uh, what have we done? We've done this area. We've got keys. I think I'm going to change that key. I don't know, maybe I won't go with keys at all. There's not really much else that I can use to sort of fix slopes, though, in any sort of decent way. I don't know, but either way, we've got sort of condos by the bay, is what I like. We've got these nice apartment buildings. Can I change the direction or longitude of the sun? There we go, so we can see the front of the buildings. <coughs> Alright, so yes, we have a little avenue coming along here. I didn't really want to use these guys, because they're just sort of an easy solution, but they actually look really nice along here. And I think they fit a sort of a really nice, clean, modern development, which I kind of like. Uh, got some parking and stuff along the back. Of course, none of it's done at all, really. Uh, but that's a project for next time. We then come across here. We have the ferries. I do have mass transit now. A bit disappointed in mass transit, but that's a whole other thing to talk about. I've uh, got the ferry terminal over here. There's a couple of little... Where are they? I'm not really sure how to use these. I need to look at some actual ferry docks and stuff to see how these are used in real life. But there's like these sort of ferry wall things. I'm not sure how they'd be used. So I need to look them up and then we can sort of decorate this place or whatever. Um, I live in Newcastle, so there's a ferry and there's a lot of boat stuff around the harbour, so maybe I can just go down and have a look at that. Anyway, uh, then we have a little hotel here, which is sort of decorated and done and looks quite nice. Got some car props in there. Uh, so sort of a, uh, thing by the beach there. Not the beach, but by the bay. Looks pretty cool. We got that bridge there as well. Uh, I like this bridge. It's pretty nice. There's a couple of other ones, but they don't actually have the cables. They seem to have these big red spire things. Not necessarily red in their case, but they don't have the cables coming off them. So I decided to use this one. I'm not sure if I particularly like the red, but it'll do. There's also a truck every now and then that comes to use this for some reason. I guess it's quicker to go from here if it wants to come into the industry area or something. Not really sure. Uh, and then I think that's pretty much it. We've got a lot of these little tetrapods along here. Uh, got some rocks on the bottom of this. I want to find some textures or something that I can place on the bottom of this that makes it look a bit more rocky rather than sandy, so it sort of blends in with this, but um, that's a another job for another day. I think that's pretty much all I've done, actually. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I've done. Uh, I think I'm actually going to stream the next part. Actually, by the time you're seeing this video, I probably will have already streamed. I think I might stream directly after this, but um, if you do want to see some City Skyline streams, head over to the link in the description. There'll be a link to Twitch, but uh, I'll stop plugging stuff. That's not particularly how I like to roll, but uh, anyway, I think that's pretty much all I've done. That's all I've got to show you, all I've got to say. So... I think I'll leave this episode here. I'm kind of, like, I'm really happy with how everything's turned out, but at the same time, I'm really happy that this episode's just bloody done, because it's done my head in. It's been tough trying to get mods to work, and it's been recorded over, like, a two weeks of different stuff, and I don't know. It's a pain. Uh, this episode was going to be a little bit, woo, a little bit longer than uh, the other ones, but it hasn't really worked out that way. I managed to cut a bunch of stuff out that just wasn't necessary, so it'll be about the same length as the rest. But this area looks really nice. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with our industry area. We've got all the services we need. We've got garbage. Uh, we've got sewage. We've got power. Um, at the moment, water is just being supplied by water tanks. 
I believe. I think it is, yeah. I'm pretty sure. And I'm surprised it's actually enough to feed this nuclear power plant, but I guess we don't actually have any people living over there really except for like 400 people or whatever so once the city goes up we'll need to get some actual water stuff uh next time the projects will be finish this area get networks and freeways done start filling it out um fill in this area get ferries and everything set up do some networks and roads and everything over here i want to do a really nice big intersection under here so i'll work on that and then i think a port would be in order down below this area so we'll have big cargo containers and then um, cargo ship ports and everything down here, which I think will look pretty slick. But if you have any suggestions and tips for mods and why the Rogue United Core mod or whatever won't be working, let me know. Also, I'm having issues with the theme manager, so if you know what might be up with that, uh, let me in the comments. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see if I can uh, fix it for next episode. Because at the moment, the theme manager is just not working. Whenever I set a theme, none of the buildings load, which is always a million forms of fun but anyway i will leave you with uh, a couple little shots of the finished product and say thank you very much for watching i will catch you in the next video and until then as always stay awesome Wow, everybody, everybody. everybody.